Do you know what it feels like to be alone yeah. in a hospital bed? Or to <laughs> be alone in a hospital and then finding out you're alone in a city and then finding out you're alone in a country. This is 28 Days Later. Welcome, ghouls and gals, to the 13 Nights of Halloween. Ooh. I like it. Hey, everybody. Welcome to uh, 13 Nights of Halloween. Oh! Evan O'Neill. <laughs> I am uh, TJ Washuk. And uh, today, we're going to be looking at one of our favorite zombie movies. Mm -hmm. It's uh, 28 Days Later. You've probably seen it because it's that damn good. Probably the first movie I saw when Edward Cullen. Is that you pronounce his name? <laughs> Cillian Murphy? Well, oh, Cillian. Is that his name? <laughs> I don't know. He looks like an Edward. Uh, oh, yeah. No, oh. Cillian Murphy. Okay. No, yeah. That was one of the first movies I saw with him, and that launched his illustrious career. Well, he uh, was in his early 20s, I think, when that came out. Yeah, and he was nude on camera. Yeah. Had a thick bush. <laughs> As all Brits do. Way. But, um, so we want to break down uh, this episode, this, uh, this movie, into three aspects that we like about it. So we're going to talk about what makes it a scary movie. We're going to be talking about the rage virus itself because it is a zombie movie. And then we're going to uh, talk a little bit about the story. Um, so first off, the horror aspect. Basically, this movie is a almost like a point of view felt like it was driven... But yeah, it's not. It's really. Not. It's like third it person. It feels like you're there. Yeah. It feels like uh, you're a, you're an extra character in each scene. Shots are really tight. Indoors, it feels claustrophobic. It's very dark. Not a lot of lighting. It adds to the uh, mystery, I guess, mystery element of it. And then, uh, man, it just gets worse. <laughs> well, that one scene. Um... In the beginning, where he's like, hello, hello. That yeah. reminds me of um, another zombie movie that they did that. Hello! Hello! Is anyone there? Hello! Great movie. Great. It's scary. Yeah. Um, one of... My favorite zombie movies, probably, uh, just because it's a, not a typical zombie movie, but it is, because the zombies are fast, they're full of rage, and they just want to kill. Yeah. You know? And then the story itself has some interesting elements, like, what would you do if you woke up In from a coma yeah. and found out, you know, zombies have taken over the world? How would you survive? The rage zombies themselves are, are pretty interesting, I feel like, uh, because I think it's supposed to be based off of some kind of form of Ebola. came from... Uh, Apes. Uh, yeah, test test monkeys. Mm. and um, It's always the monkeys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's it's transferred through the, uh, through the blood and saliva, so getting bit or scratched mm. or getting their blood and your blood... Um, You've got about, what, 20 seconds after infection? Yeah, 20 seconds that, that you find out. Yeah, you, you only have 20 seconds left to live before you start having seizures. It's scary, dude. Because like, <laughs> when you're got, you're got. 
And it's realistic, man. It's realistic as far as it being a virus instead of being like some kind of undead curse. Exactly. Um, like that, there's one scene where one of the zombies like stares at himself in the mirror for like a few minutes. Or not a minute, but it felt like a, it felt like a minute. And then just went, ah, moved away. Like it, yeah. like was, it noticed that itself in the mirror. Yeah, like like they still have some semblance of intelligence. Mm -hmm. They're just uh, rage, you know. They're just full of anger and and unrelenting uh, destruction. Yeah. And and like I said, it only takes twenty seconds to just morph into that. So it's uh, and they run. They're <laughs> and they can run. <laughs> oh yeah, they are sprinters. Uh, there's some reference in the movie and then in the sequel called 28 Weeks Later about how long it takes for these things to starve to death. Mm. Uh, because I, that I know of, I don't think they eat. You know, anything. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they have have functional... Because um... there was a one scene with the rats. Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, no! Fucking rats! Get off! Yeah, the story's really good. <laughs> All right, spooks and ghouls, that wraps it up for uh, this episode of uh, Two Guys, 13 Nights of Horror. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Please share it. Uh, click the subscribe button because uh, we need those. And uh, tune in next episode. Tune in next time. For the two guys, 13 Nights of Horror! <laughs> <laughs>